I did. Well, not so much. I guess. Happy Mother's Day! Oh my God, oh my God. Alexa, you, you actually know. love me. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. It pays off. Good morning, Good morning Bishop Gorman. Gorman. I'm Alexa Bell Castro, and I'm Giovanna Shaparo. And this Sunday, it's Mother's Day, so we decided to celebrate a little bit early. Our moms do so much for us, so let's take today to show our appreciation for what they do for us. It's time like these where we can thank God for our beautiful mothers. Please stand for the prayer and the pledge. In, In the, the name, name of the, the Father, Father, and of the Son, and, and of the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. All loving God, we give you thanks and praise for mothers young and old. We pray for our own mothers who have nurtured and cared for us. May they continue to guide us in strong and gentle ways. Amen. Glory be to God in all things. In the, in the name, name of the, the Father, and, and of the Son, and, and of the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready for the best day ever, Bishop Gorman? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Good morning, Bishop Gorman. I'm Sarah Bronte. I'm Zach Zeller. And this, and this is, is BG TV. TV. It's Friday, May 8th, and on this day in 1970, the Beatles released their Let It Be album. So instead of thinking about joining Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, think about paying attention because we have a great show for you today. Although the Beatles separated many years ago, other bands such as No Doubt, Metallica, Linkin Park, and several others will be performing this weekend at Rock in Rio USA. Josie Mulaski has an exclusive sneak peek on what to expect from the City of Rock. Rock in Rio Las Vegas is finally here. On Tuesday, May 5th, a special preview was held in preparation for the big event. With six stages and multiple places to eat, drink, and shop, you won't be disappointed. Many attractions, including unique artwork and a zip line over the crowd of the main stage, set the fun and exciting mood for this year's Rock in Rio Festival. Get ready to rock your socks off because this event is one you don't want to miss. I'm Josie Mulaski, reporting for BG TV. We know that all you need is love, so Gorman is spreading the love. Bishop Gorman has become well known for helping those in need, and the art department is helping neglected and orphaned children around the world through the Memory Project. Kelton Sorensen has the story of how Gorman's students are painting the picture to help others. Our Bishop Gorman team is at it again, most notably our art program, as they continue to contribute to the Memory Project, a project designed for orphanages in foreign countries to receive a portrait of themselves designed by fellow students in America, and in this case, Bishop Gorman. Working for not only themselves, but for others, the artists feel a bit different about this piece. It just meant a lot to me to know that another child that is not as, does not have as much as we do, is able to receive such an amazing thing of art and to see what they look like from another person's point of view. Because art is so important to me, I want to share it with other people and it really means a lot to me when I can give something to somebody that came from like my own talent and from like the bottom of my heart. Due to these children's situations, something as basic as a picture of themselves is truly cherished. At the end of the school year now, we get yearbooks and we can look back and really reminisce about this year and how great it's been, but these kids don't have anything like that in the way of school, in the way of, of, of a family support system, so these portraits are something to help kind of establish a sense of identity and a sense of importance. As true role models 
for our Bishop Gorman community, our art program delivers happiness throughout the world once again. We receive photographs back of the kids holding their portraits and the expression on their faces is completely different. So they're usually, there's a light about them and you can just tell that they've really appreciated this gift that the students are providing them with. So this portrait are very beautiful and gorgeous. Thank you for this portrait. I like the way you come and distribute the pictures and bring a smile to our face. <laughs> it's good that you share your you know, hobbies, your talent with us. You know, nice experience with us. And thank you. God bless you. And I'm so happy that my picture was coming from other country. Amen. And I'm very happy that uh, this picture was made by other children, other students of the other country. Thank you. Do you like the fish? It's so beautiful. It's very beautiful. We really like it very, very much. <laughs> I'm Kelton Sorensen reporting for BG TV. While the school year winds down, it may seem a little late to introduce a new Gale, but this computer wizard has been happily keeping your iPads working smoothly all year long. Rachel Salinas has the year's final installment of Greet the Gale. Marco Ramundo might seem like an ordinary guy, but he plays a key role here at Bishop Gorman. I am an administrator for our Apple Sold 2 account. I assist uh, with all the iPad issues students have, and I'm the one to initiate all the broken iPads. We've all experienced the pros and cons of technology. Marco is no different. The best part is getting to play with the new equipment that we receive, and the worst part is when the old equipment breaks down. In his first year at Gorman, the Gale's spirit had quite an impact on Marco. My most memorable moment will have to be going to the football games. I've never experienced such a high energy game at a high school. I'm Rachel Salinas, reporting for BG TV. The school year is coming to an end, so let's come together and listen to these announcements in 30 seconds. Don't forget to come support our jazz ensemble, orchestra, and concert band this Saturday at 2 p.m. in the Spring Instrumental Music Concert. You can purchase tickets beforehand on www.showticksforyou.com. That's show ticks with an X, the number 4, and the letter U, dot com, or at the door. See you there. For those of you who took the AP Chemistry exam this week, stop by room 316 after school on Monday and Tuesday for a quick meeting. You may have heard already that two of our ASG members have received statewide recognition. Daniel Keenis caught up with them this week to find out more. Last week, two Bishop Gorman students, John Haddon and Doug McCarthy, received very special awards. The award that John and Doug received at the state conference is given out to five members of our state board. It's meant to be for students who go above and beyond on the state board as far as excellence in service and leadership for the year. I was elected state president for the Nevada Association of Student Councils, which means I'm going to be an integral part in making sure every student council in the whole entire state reaches their goals next year. At the end of the day, um, it feels really great to be recognized for our efforts. It's just an amazing organization. I'm Daniel Keenis, reporting for BG TV. <laughs> With only 10 days left in the school year, our athletes are not slowing down. Kelton Sorensen has a wrap-up of our spring sports season. Kelton? Brodsky. With the most crucial time of the year for our sports teams, many have continued to rise to the occasion and come out victorious. With the first pitch of the day, Thomas Rogers will be throwing you baseball highlights from the first round of the playoffs versus Centennial from this past Monday. This past Tuesday, your Bishop Gorman Gales played against the Centennial Bulldogs at Cashman Field. Austin Cram hits a single and gets on base. He is immediately followed up by Matt Hudgens, who hits a two-run homer. This puts your Bishop Gorman Gales in the lead by two runs. However, in the fourth inning, the Bulldogs score two of their own runs. Antonio Rayon hits an RBI, sending in Grant Robbins to score the third and final run of the game. This puts your Bishop Gorman Gales on top with the score of 3-2 over the Centennial Bulldogs. I'm Thomas Rodericks reporting for BG TV. Our men's baseball team also played Wednesday versus Cimarron Memorial, winning 15-5, and Thursday versus Arbor View, but lost in a heartbreaking fashion 10-11. With the second shot of the day, our men's lacrosse team beat Spring Valley High School this past Tuesday 
15 to 8 in the first round of the playoffs. And now we'll be playing Saturday at 8 p.m. in the league matchup versus Green Valley at Green Valley High School. With the third shot of the day, our women's lacrosse team played basic high school this past Tuesday and won 14 to 2. And now they move on to play Centennial at Heritage Park this next Tuesday at 7 p.m. With the fourth and final shot of the day, our men's golf took third place in the Sunset Regional Meet this past Wednesday. But individually, Christian James took fourth place and Owen Rosebeck took fifth place out of 23 golfers. For the last time on BGTV, I'm telling you to continue to strive for excellence as expected here being a part of the G. I'm Kelton Sorensen. Zach? Thanks, Kelton. <laughs> I can't believe there are only 10 more days of the school year left, and that means for you seniors, you are down to the final countdown of four days. It's crazy how fast time goes. That's all for today. You say goodbye, I say hello. Um, I think we should just both say goodbye. I'm Zach Zeller. And I'm Sarah Brodsky. And this is BGTV. <laughs> <laughs>